In today's episode, we're standing in Burgle Winterton area in the northern parts of KZN. This area is well known for its high potential yields. To get to that high potential yield, you need to know how to manage that crop. Before you can manage your crop, you need to know it by growth stage. Today, we'll be focusing on different phenological stages of wheat. Welcome at Villa Crop Protection. Whether you're applying herbicides, fungicides or any other nutrition, when that spray enters the field, it's important to know on what growth stage your crop is at. So Villa is using the Zadox system, that's the international standard method of crop staging. Let's show you how that Zadox staging works. When we look at wheat staging using the Zadox scale, it's actually very simple. You normally have two numbers with the scale, GS12, GS14, GS22, and so it goes on. But the first number always represents a specific thing. When we look at the following example that has clearly not reached tillering stage yet, so therefore we know the first number will be 1. The number next to it represents the amount of leaves. Count it as 1, 2, 3. As this crop moves to the next phenological stage, known as tillering, the first number of the Zadok scale also changed. Therefore, as tillering started, you know that the first number of the scale changed to number 2. The second number then changed to the amount of developed tillers. Let's stage the following example. Already in tillering, first tiller, second tiller, and then the rest of the tillers is not fully developed. Therefore, growth stage 22. Join us on our next episode where we will discuss growth stage 30 and onwards as well as a lot of other factors that might influence that high potential yield.